In this video, I'm going to try to improve the quality of this casting that I've been doing in Pewter and take advantage of some of the comments that you've made and also things that I've read on various metal casting forums. I've been obsessed with casting Pewter here just recently. Here's a bunch of finished pieces here. This is a Klepto the Clown here, two-sided. I've got a Furby character, and then I've got uh, Blinky the Cat. And so Blinky the Cat, I did three different medallions there for my woodworking. And uh, some of them are signed. I'm going to make these into keychains, and then these will be medallions that I'll inset. And so I've made four silicone molds so far, and uh, three of them are working very well. The one I'm struggling with is this uh, Furby keychain fob here. I'm getting a lot of voids on the front here. Uh, there's a big one, there's one right over the eye, and uh, that, that one's actually not that bad really. And this one has a big void under this eye right here, uh, and other little pox. And then the third one, uh, which will be remelted, is it looks like he has some kind of a disease. There's pox all over it. So I was doing some research last night and uh, there's a couple of things that I read that were recommended and uh, they, both of them made sense to me. First, uh, the gentleman said, uh, don't tap on your mold when you're pouring your metal. And the reason for this is that when the hot metal goes in, it cools and it develops a skin where it touches the mold and the backer board and when you tap on it, what you're doing is you're remelting that skin with the hot metal that's in the middle of the blob of molten metal. And then that causes the boiling and so forth to cause quality problems with the surface. The second recommendation was to uh, put some sort of a powder in the mold. Now I don't know why this would help the quality of the, the uh, casting because it's certainly not needed as a release. I mean, these, uh, these pewters, they just pop right out of this mold as soon as they set up. Uh, so we'll give that a try. We're gonna, so I'm going to go over to the uh, hot bench and uh, I'll do a pour and I'm going to experiment uh, with pouring without agitating and, and then I'll do that a couple of times and then I'll add the talc without agitating and see what goes on with the quality. So follow along as I do four test pours. This is my setup for the Furby fob here. So this is a horizontal setup here. It's MDF on the, the top and the rubber silicone mold is on the bottom and there's a backer board and I've got it all clamped together. So we'll go ahead and uh, try this out here. I'm using my little cast iron frying pan for this and I just carefully pour it in. I'm not going to jostle the mold this time. Whoops, leaking out of there a little bit. To add another clamp next time. It's always exciting when that hot metal starts dripping around. Okay, we'll let that sit and we'll take it out. About 10 minutes have passed. The uh, casting should be set up, so uh, we'll go ahead and drop the uh, mold off the bottom of this. There it comes away. And uh, let's see what we have. Oh, that's really pretty. Uh, boy, I don't really see any big problems with that one. That's a keeper there. Good. So that's one success. Not bad at all. There's a few little pox, though, right over the eye, but I would call this acceptable for what I'm doing. Oh, and now the eye is starting to shrink up in a couple of places. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so this is test number three. Now the mold is warming up, so that's kind of a variable here, I think. Uh, that should maybe be considered in this, but I'm going to add some baby powder to it. And uh, see if that helps us out. So the first one, pretty darn good, one of the best. Second one, starting to get a few little pox. So I'm going to go ahead and set this one up and we'll pour it without tapping the mold, but with talc in the mold. Happening. Okay, let that sit. A 
Wow, that one's really nice. So we'll do a few more of these and then uh, we'll do a wrap up. This is my last casting of the day. Um, this has got no jostling. Uh, it's got a level mold and uh, it has a little bit of talc in it as well. You can see the talc in there. This one is very nice. This is uh, on the level of quality of the very first one that I, I uh, poured today. So let's take it out of here and uh, we'll do a little wrap up. Front looks good and the back looks good. This is one of the best castings I've done so far. Here's the first one that I did and uh, this was just with no tapping of the mold, no talc. Um, I got some undercutting of some of the detail here and I discovered that my mold was not quite level so I believe that the metal just didn't flow into these details. But I got no pock marks on this, so I thought that was a pretty good result. This is the second one that I did, and this one, the mold is warming up some at this point. I got the undercutting around the eyes here, which uh, is not bad, but I really don't like it. And then I got a little bit of pock marks up above the eyes here, but the rest of it looks pretty good. There's a little bit in this area here. Then I went to adding the talc to the mold, and this was the first one. And it's really excellent, I have to say. This is a very good quality casting. It's probably one of the best that I've gotten out of my mold so far. And this is the second one that I did. And uh, it's also uh, really an excellent quality. I have no complaints about this. The backside came out really nice as well. And then finally, this is the last one I did with the talc in a level mold and uh, it's also excellent. So these all came out very nice. So I probably will go ahead and remelt these, re-pour them using the technique that I used here. Well, this has been some really satisfying goofing off here today at Stewart Arts. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you got a comment, please leave that down below and uh, appreciate it if you give me a like and uh, if you haven't decided to become a subscriber to the Stewart Arts channel, I sure hope you consider doing that. I try to put out one or two new videos uh, each week, and I always try to keep them interesting and entertaining. And if you're ever in the neighborhood, uh, give me a call, come on by, I'll give you the nickel tour. What in the heck am I going to do with all these things? <laughs>